Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about our B250 motherboards here. We're gonna be setting up our CPUs, RAM, battery, everything else that's required to set up a 14 GPU mining rig. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm or an ASIC mining farm. Go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email. Also check out our other social media accounts like Rumble, Gab, BitChute, Mines, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. All right, let's get started. So here's our B250 motherboards. We're using a G-Skill uh, G 16 gigabyte RAM. The reason why we're using these is because they were the cheapest, pretty much. Uh, these are 16 gig, and we're getting them in packs of two for about 100 bucks, 120. It's about 60 bucks each, which is a good deal. We plug them into this first slot here. The reason why we do that is because uh, that's what's required for this motherboard. Plug them into the slot closest to the processor. The CPUs we're using, we are trying out these i3-6300 CPUs. We'll see how they, go, uh, how they uh, go, if they can manage the uh, 14 3080 GPUs without a problem. And if they do, we will keep using them. So I haven't unpackaged any of these yet. You can see this one is a little bit dirty. So what we got to do is just clean a little bit. Now I know some of you guys might be watching your, and you might be thinking, why don't you use special gloves? Um, the reason why we don't do that is because those are gimmicks. Um, you might as well use gloves uh, when uh, you, you know, blow out your nose or something like that. It's totally worthless and it's a gimmick. And we don't do stuff like that. That's common sense that I do not have any static on me. It'll cause zero problems. So we're gonna plug this guy in here. Again, this is an i3-6300 processor. Now these we have not tried out yet, so we're gonna see how they work out. They come with these heat sinks here. It's a regular old Intel heat sink that came with the processor. Now we don't want the processor to heat up in any way, so we're gonna add a little bit extra thermal compound on there. Plug this guy in. And there you go. <clears throat> so this guy is ready to go. Got the G-Skill in there. I already plugged in the batteries. Uh, these are regular uh, door cell uh, 2032 batteries from other boards. I already got them all in. So this guy's good to go here. This guy's all set up. Now we already checked all the motherboards to see if they work. Um, how we check them is we use this monitor here. It's a Fuel World monitor. And uh, it has an HDMI in right here. So we plug this guy into the motherboard and we power on the motherboard with a power supply. Uh, we turn it on. And this guy's remote, so he runs on battery. It's really nice. And then uh, we can see the BIOS on the monitor here. So we go into the BIOS, we update the BIOS, uh, we uh, save uh, AC on setting, we turn off the audio and stuff like that. And then we make sure it works. So these ones already all work and we mark them by putting a W like this onto the chipset here, it's chip chipset heatsink. That signifies to us that we checked it and that it works. Now, some of the other processors here, we have another i3-6300, but we also have our standard processors we used to use before, and we probably might stop using them. They were the i7-7700, we used the K, and the regular version. This is i7-7700. So we, use, we used to use these guys. So same thing here, plus we already, since we already checked all these motherboards, we, I know that they work. So I do not need to check for the pins on the uh, motherboard, the CPU pins, I don't need to check for that. I already checked that since they're booted up before with the i7-7700 processor. So don't need to do that. You can see that this one doesn't have RAM. Uh, it hasn't arrived yet, so some of them don't have RAM. This one and then that one over there doesn't have RAM. But we still set them up, ready to go. Once we set them up, we kind of put the motherboards to the side since not all the GPUs arrive at the same time. So we can't really boot everything up at the same time. 
either. So kind of have to just boot them up as time goes as we get closer to the launch time. Here's another i7-7700. This one's nice and clean, so I'm gonna plug them in here. Okay. What else we got here? Probably another i7-7700. So we got, yep. Oh, this is a T version. Doesn't really matter. As long as the processor has a built-in, I think T has it. I think last time I checked it has it. But as long as the processor has a built-in Intel graphics processor on board, as long as it has that, then we're fine. Now, some of the processors do not come with a heat sink. And so, we get these guys here. This is from Thermal Lake. So we'll use this guy. You guys probably hate these things as well, right? Because usually when I buy like any adapters or wires or anything, I, I usually take off these stickers because I hate them so much. Um, so this guy comes with a different setup here. Comes with this bracket, you plug it on the back, plug it on the back like this. Then you're gonna plug this in here, like that. Then I forgot to get my uh, Phillips screwdriver, so let's go get one. So what you do is you just tighten these guys up not all the way just to a certain point where you can get all four of these on there and then once you have them on there then you can tighten them all the way down oh shoot okay that's not good oh well i just put this guy around here then around there and then i'll plug them in usually i don't do it like this way but again doesn't really matter put them like that <clears throat> Anyway, Now, while I'm doing this, I could talk about some other little bits of information about the B250s. So you can see we have these pipes on the back of the motherboard. And the reason why we have those pipes, I'm gonna put this guy over here so I don't mix them up with the other i7s. So I gotta make sure that's an i3. But the reason why we uh, have those pipes is so that we can put the motherboard right on the the racks that way we can have them on those metal racks we don't want the motherboard obviously to conduct any electricity so you got to make sure it's nice and clean okay this one's a little bit too dirty so can't really uh, clean that off my finger
So this is rubbing alcohol. So it's nice and clean, good for electronics. Look at man. Same thing. And then same thing here. So as I was as I was saying about the the PVC pipe. So these are uh, I think these are half inch PVC pipes. Internal diameter of them. I think they're like half an inch. So you can also use a method like that. It's really nice to have that. I don't have to worry about any problems, potential problems, anything like that. You don't have to like get paranoid about the motherboard contacting the uh, metal rack then you also don't have to build it out of wood and you also don't need to worry about the heat getting trapped in the you know between the rigs since it's all metal and the rack has you know space between each row there's that space and there's also that airflow that goes between everything since it's uh doesn't have any blockage so it's a good and bad thing about that is uh that allows a lot of the air to escape which is good but then obviously if you're not moving air between the racks then that's bad because as uh the lower level rigs the ones on the floor were well, closer to the floor their heat rises to the second rig to the third fourth and fifth rig and so the fifth rig could be a lot warmer than the first you know rig the second rig and so on so you got to make sure that you're moving air between them but the pipes also allow just imagine those metal pieces going like this or what's it uh, between on the racks the little strips of metal go like this so allows the motherboard to have that airflow travel right here under the cpu and then under all of the PC, uh, pci express ports here the ram everything so it's it's a good setup all right, so I'm going to be doing this for the rest of the motherboards. What else can I mention here? Um, so yeah, it's pretty much I'm going to be doing the same thing. Got what another one, two, you know, three, three more left. I'm going to do the same exact thing on them. I already know they all work. Maybe some other videos in the future. I could show you guys this thing, how it works and show you guys how to actually test the motherboard, make sure everything's good on it. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, bell. I got more videos coming for you guys. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm for you, uh, if you're looking to purchase yourself a rig and then we manage it for you, go to cryptollc.org. We provide all services, management, acquire, acquirement. So we know where to get all the processors, the RAM, the motherboards, the GPUs obviously is the most important one. It's really hard to buy those anywhere. Um, unless you're going to be paying like $2,500 or $3,000 on eBay for them. But if you wanted us to manage everything from start to finish, to set everything up and manage it for you, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, we'll get in touch. Or if you're a bigger investor and you're looking to set up a GPU mining farm, not just one rig, but a farm, a huge farm, you know, thousands of GPUs or, or, or ASICs, go to CryptoLLC, same thing, send us an email, we'll get in touch, we'll set everything up. And until next time, bye.